Wi-Fi 7 is finally here and it's bringing game-changing performance and speed to the devices that support it. More and more devices now support Wi-Fi 7. My new phone, the OnePlus Open, actually supports Wi-Fi 7. And with more ISPs bringing multi-gig connections to at-home internet service, Wi-Fi 7 is becoming more and more important. In this video, we'll be taking a look at the Archer BE800 by TP-Link with speeds of up to 19 gigabits per second, 12 stream tri-band Wi-Fi 7, and at dual 10 gigabit per second ports. This is by far one of the most powerful routers that I've ever used. Big shout outs to TP-Link for sponsoring this video. Let's go ahead and get started. If you're looking to upgrade your wireless network, you should consider a Wi-Fi 7 solution like the Archer BE800. Wi-Fi 7 is bringing a whole list of new technologies to further enhance wireless connections between devices. In traditional Wi-Fi 5 and Wi-Fi 6, a device can only connect to one band, either the 2.4 gigahertz or the 5 gigahertz. Wi-Fi 6E added the 6 gigahertz band, but you can still only connect to one band at a time. This means that the other bands go unused or you could be stuck on the slower band. Multi-link operation solves this issue by allowing devices to send and receive data across multiple bands and channels simultaneously. Wi-Fi 7 makes full use of the 6 gigahertz band by doubling the bandwidth to 320 megahertz. The easiest way to explain this is if you think of the bandwidth as a highway, a two-lane highway is going to have some congestion, but the 10-lane highway gives you many more lanes to access for less congestion over the network. 4K QAM further enhances peak performance with Wi-Fi 7 by adopting a higher order modulation scheme. 4096 QAM enables each symbol to carry 12 bits rather than 10 bits. A higher transmission rate means higher transmission efficiency. This allows you to watch 4K and 8K content with no buffering, load massive online games with zero lag, and even allows for VR and AR immersive experiences. The Archer BE800 features tri-band BE19000 Wi-Fi 7, which means you get next generation Wi-Fi 7 speeds of up to 11,520 megabits per second at six gigahertz, 5,760 megabits per second at five gigahertz, and 1,376 megabits per second at 2.4 gigahertz, with 12 streams allowing you to stream video content, download and upload large files, and even game without congestion or lag. The BE800 supports multi-gig connections on both wireless and wired. You get a 10 gigabit per second ethernet fiber combo port, a 10 gigabit per second WAN LAN port, plus four 2.5 gigabit per second ports, and one USB 3.0 port for huge port expansion. The BE800 provides maximum range and coverage with eight optimally positioned antennas, along with beam forming, delivering more capacity, stronger and more reliable connections, and less interference. I have a pretty large two-story home, and my router is in my office, which is in one corner of my house. That being said, I've had zero connection issues and I have good coverage throughout my entire house with just one BE800. The BE800 is also easy mesh compatible. So if you do find that you needed a little bit of additional range, you can easily add mesh points to this system. We'll test the connection here in the office right next to the router. Let's go ahead and run the test now. All right, and you see the link speed is over 5,000 meg down and almost 6,000 meg up. And then now we're running the IP speed test. So we're getting almost 3,000 meg up. We're getting almost 2,000 meg down rather and nearly 3,000 meg up right here next to the router. Yeah, so as you can see, that router is screaming. And so we're gonna run a test over here from about the middle of the house. We're still getting almost 3000 down and looks like almost 1300 up on the physical speeds. And we're approaching 2000 on the IP speeds on the down there and still getting respectable speeds on the up at 320. All right, we'll do a final test here in the living room. About 2500 down, 864 up and our IP speeds are in the 1500s. So I'm getting pretty good signal 
throughout most of my house. Another feature that I really love about this router that's really fun is the LED display on the front. This gives you information like the time, the weather, and you can even add up to 3,000 customizable graphics, including emojis, to the front of your router. TP-Link's Home Shield brings next level security to your network, including features like Home Network Scanner, which is a real-time network scanner to detect potential threats and security issues. This also brings powerful parental controls, giving you the ability to control and manage online time for devices and block hazardous content to protect your family. Also like the quality of service feature, which allows you to prioritize device connections for the best performance on those devices. This also gives you the ability to create a private Internet of Things network with advanced WPA3 encryption to better protect the security of your home network and Internet of Things devices. If you're looking to upgrade your network, I would definitely recommend Wi-Fi 7 with a device like the Archer BE800. I'll be sure to include links in the description of where you can find out more about this product and purchase this for yourself. That about wraps it up for this video. Thanks guys for watching. Be blessed. I'll see you in the next one.